Hey, I'm Meg, and today I'm going to show you how to make my Halloween cauldron cake. This is a great project for kids to do. It's just a really good one to get the whole family involved in. Super crafty and super simple. The first thing you want to do in making this cake is to melt confectioner's chocolate. Now, this is chocolate that I just picked up at the craft store. I got the dark cocoa one. I got two bags of it, microwaved it for about... 30 second increments just till it was melted. You don't want it to be piping hot, but you want it to still be warm enough that you can work with it. Now, you can make this cake any size you want. Just important when you blow up your balloon, wash them and let them dry completely before you dip them. And I'm just gonna go for it. So stick your balloon in the bowl and then just kind of turn it so you coat all the sides. And the great thing about this is you're making a cauldron, so it doesn't have to look perfect. If you have some jaggedy edges, that's actually good. That's like the effect that I'm going for. And you can totally make any size you want as well. This is great if you're having a kid's party. Give each kid their own little balloon, and then they have their own little mini cauldron cake, and it's really cute and it makes them really happy. All right, shake off the excess chocolate. And then I have a plate here with a piece of parchment just so it doesn't stick. And I'm going to set my balloon on the plate. These little drips of chocolate going on, that's actually a good thing. It's almost gonna create like a little foot, kind of like a little pedestal that's gonna help set it in place. And that's it. You're done with the whole shell. At this point, you can leave it out to set up. Or if you are on a time constraint, you can pop it in the fridge and you'll be good to go in about 30 minutes. Now it's time to assemble the cauldron cake. First thing I'm gonna do, pull the chocolate covered balloon out of the fridge. I've got a pin here, I'm just gonna pop the balloon. No matter how many times I do that, I still jump. And then the balloon is going to peel away from the chocolate shell pretty easily. All right, so that's my last bit of balloon pulled out. And now I'm going to actually place my little chocolate cauldron on, I got a cake cardboard that I just covered with some foil. And if you don't wanna do this, that's fine. You could put it on any platter that you have at home. Set it in the middle and we're gonna start filling this. Now for filling, I have my vanilla cake recipe and I just cut it into cubes. If you don't have the time to make a cake, Use a store-bought cake, don't worry, I'm not gonna tell anyone, I promise. Use whatever you want. And I also made three cups of whipped cream. Now, I took, once it was whipped, I took about a cup of whipped cream out and put it in a separate bowl to use for the topping. Now, into the remainder of the whipped cream, I'm going to fold in chopped up Snickers. It's about 10 of those little fun size Snickers you find, just chopped up. Just fold them in the whipped cream. You can use any candy you want for this. All right, now I'm gonna start layering. So into the cauldron goes some of my cubed cake. Wanna make sure you put the cake down first, not the whipped cream, because the, uh, you know, like the moisture from the whipped cream, you don't want that to ruin the chocolate shell. So just make sure you start with whatever cake you use. Then I'm gonna start layering in the whipped cream. What I love about this, it can be as simple or as gourmet as you want it to be. You're in control of this. This is just a basic outline. All right, I'm gonna do one more layer of cake. I'm done with this filling. And now I have my plain whipped cream that I reserved. Gonna spoon this on top. All right, and that's it. You don't want it to look perfect. You want it to kind of look messy. Now, time to decorate the fun part. I have some buttercream here. It's my decorator's buttercream. 
and I'm going to tint half of it orange and half of it red and show you how to actually pipe flames around the cauldron. First, I'm gonna go with the red. I only put three drops in. Really important to remember when you're doing anything with food coloring. Start with a little bit. You can always add more, but you can't take it out. All right, that looks good. Now to my other bowl. Same thing, I'm gonna start with about three drops of orange. Got that mixed up. Once your piping bag is ready, you got your two icings colored. You wanna get two spatulas. First thing you're gonna do is take some red buttercream. You're literally gonna put it in the bag on one side of it. Now I've got the orange. I'm gonna get this in on the other side. All right, so once your bag is full, just to start, pipe a little out just that you get both colors to start coming out. There we go. And now you have this really cool mix of red and orange flames coming out of the bag. All right, actually the first thing I'm gonna do is take my tip off for a minute. I also put my cake up on a cake stand so it's easy for me to kind of rotate and work with it. I'm just gonna pipe buttercream in the base here. Okay. Basically, point the tip in and start pulling flames up. Now you can do some coming out by that ring of buttercream that we piped. And you just wanna go around the whole cake. Last part of this cake, well, almost last part, I'm gonna start just filling my cauldron with lots of candy. I have here some um, gummy worms, creepy crawly little gummy worms that are just gonna like poke in their heads out of the cauldron. I also have some bubble gum. And I have some candy corn because this is a Halloween cake. So use any candy that you want. I mean, they have some really spooky, creepy looking candy out there that you can get. So I dip my paintbrush in, I'm using gold Disco Dust today. Once it's on my paintbrush, I literally hold it above the cake and tap. And it's like a little sparkle shower. And it just adds a little bit of shimmer to the cake. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna do with the Disco Dust is I have a little bit of water here. now. Don't drown the cauldron because you don't ever want to put water on chocolate. So I must feel like it's really bad to say out loud. Just put a little bit on your fingertip and I just kind of run it along the top of the cauldron. Really, you just want to dampen it here very, very lightly. So this is just gonna help this little bit of disco dust adhere to the cauldron. And I'm just gonna go around. And like I said earlier, doing something simple, just a little bit of detail like this can really make all the difference. Okay, and lastly, I just like to go around it and brush it just a little bit here and there to give it a little bit more character. Kind of that it like looks worn, but you know, in my world it's gonna look worn with sparkles. And that's it, there is your Halloween cauldron cake. Um, I hope you enjoy this. Get your kids in the kitchen, um, get everyone making this, and just have fun with it, it's dessert.